Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance Peter Turnquest is also clarifying the government's decision to make aircraft and helicopters duty-free. Turnquest says the decision has nothing to do with the local aviation industry, but rather it's intended to attract international jet owners who may register their crafts here in the Bahamas. What's the benefit to us? Well, we can charge somewhere around $4,000 a year for licensing fees for these jets, money that we don't collect today. Not only that, in order to put those aircraft on our registry, they have to be inspected every year. So it means that you need to have a qualified airman, check airman, somebody who knows how to fly these aircraft, and, 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 and uh, um, they have to go out and, and check the pilots to make sure the pilots are current. Well, the Minister of Finance says with this plan, there's the prospect of eventually providing jobs and creating business in the aviation industry. We now have the opportunity to build up an aircraft maintenance business. Not only that, once we sign on to what they call the Cape Town Convention, which allows the Bahamas to recognize uh, aircraft mortgages, we can set up an aircraft mortgage business right here in the Bahamas. And the, di the difference between a regular mortgage and an aircraft mortgage is that aircrafts obviously are mobile. They can move. And so once you sign on to this convention, wherever that asset is, if there's a problem, you can go collect it. 